Assalamu alaikum guys, it's me Nazmus here and today we're going to be unboxing the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. Now if you don't know what Paperwhite, the Kindle Paperwhite is, it's the latest version of the Amazon Kindle released in the year 2013, I think 2012, late end of 2012. And this is a very bright and very white page, white reading experience. Uh, I'll show you what I mean after you open this. So here, this is the normal electronic stuff, and the word Amazon is covered up. It's like a nice, slick, sleek black box with the standard uh, requir required information, and it says paper Kindle Paperwhite. So I'm going to open this and so enjoy. Here, as you can see, um, there's a arrow pointing this way to show that you have to pull this flap. So this is the first time I'm doing this, so sorry for the lack of experience. So, so I'm going to pull this as required. Ah, trying to do this with one hand while holding the camera. Okay, uh, there we go. So there, it's open. Well, that was a flap on the ground, but it should look like this. And there we have it, clean box, very good. We have an instructions manual here, so some basic information, license agreements, important product information, and some, I guess, diagram and show you how you charge it. Now, I did not opt in to purchase the extra $30 power cord. I'll, I decided to just, they come with a USB charger, which I'll use to charge with the computer, so, there we go. So it's very nicely wrapped in plastic cover. Here we have, um, the charging cord. It's like, the looks, the, I would expect it to be black, but I guess they look, they wanted to look like that. They wanted to make it white. It looks a lot like the iPod chargers, or iPhone chargers, so, it's just the Kindle here, so. All I do is, uh, sorry about that, again trying to use one hand, so let me put this here and to open it like that, there we go, yeah it looks a lot like the iPod charger, sorry for the background noise, someone's trying to pull the television up there, so there you go, now we're going to open the Kindle and see what it looks like. Right, guys, so... Sorry, I went to another room because someone was playing the television and I, and I didn't want you to, you know, have the sound blocked by the TV. But, yeah, here is the Kindle and I'm going to open this paper and let's see if I can do this. Let me just put this camera down. Let's see if I can open this in front of you. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have this packet and I think it should be easy to open. And then, yep, like that. Comes up really nicely, actually, and it should come up fairly simply, very nicely covered. And there we go, the Kindle Paper White. And okay, there we go. Can't do the camera again. Sorry about that. All right. Now there, I think it's just, uh, this. I, this should be a blank screen, right? So this must be a plastic cover that's here. So. Well, there's the power button, All right? And there's the charger. So I think the USB will perfectly fit. It's a micro USB port right there. So it's a micro USB and it'll fit right here. So voila, so let's try powering it on. I don't know if I have to charge it, but we'll find out. If if I do have to charge it, I'll pause it and, and charge it, but hmm, nothing's happening. Well, something is happening. There you go. Well, wow. There's the normal, uh, there's the normal, um, famous Kindle book reading, someone reading under the tree sign, and I think it's booting up. So, it's kind of strange that the word Kindle is so lightly written. Is it because of the battery? I'm not sure, but we'll see. But yeah, it's booting up. There's the spinning circle. Now this does have Wi-Fi, so I can connect to the internet, and I can download my Kindle books here. 
Oh, cool. So, as you can see here, I have to turn the light off, but this has a front light. As you can see, it's glowing. It's it's a really nice. It has a. It's not backlit, but it has lights on the top and lights on the bottom. That makes reading in the dark a pleasant experience. So I'm gonna turn the light back on. Or actually, yeah, I'll turn the light back on. I'll be or be. Okay. So I think they're asking me to choose a language. Choose. Uh, no, no, not Dutch. Ah, uh, okay. So how do I go back? Oh, English. Okay. English, United States. Okay. Okay, so it's, uh, it's, um, l uh, loading or setting up, so let's see what happens next. Of course, it's black and white. I do wish, uh, we would get to a point that we could have a color Kindle, not like an iPad, like, not like Kindle Fire, but color, e ink color. I don't know if they have them already, but. I mean, I don't know if the technology exists already, but certainly I'd love to have a Kindle that's colored e-ink. Now, if you don't know what e-ink is, e-ink is like it's like a uh, ink that's digital, and it's very. It's not like the iPad or the Kindle Fire. It's more of the. It actually looks like a book, and it's easier on the eyes. This is why I prefer read. I would, re why I would prefer reading on the e-ink experience than say on a computer or a Surface or an iPad. Now I'm gonna pause this until this is done. So I'll soon. Oh, actually, it's done. And I guess now I'm in the browser, Kindle Paperwhite. First ever Paperwhite display. Okay, I think it's just a quick tutorial or introduction. So I click get started. So connect to Wi-Fi. Will do. Now Wi-Fi is our Wi-Fi is Netgear. So I'm gonna type in the password. So we'll be back. Okay, so this is connecting to the internet, or connecting to Amazon at least. So as you can see, our um, battery is halfway done, and it is the Wi-Fi signal is pretty good here. Um, I know it looks blurry here, but um, I don't have to trust me on that. So confirming right registration. Now I did register and get it online, so it came preloaded with my user and pass user account and password. So I don't have to set anything up. They re pre-registered with my user account. So it, so yeah, it's it recognizes me as Nasm. It says congratulations, you have registered. You have your device is now registered to Nasmus. All right, tap next to continue. Okay, all your books are archived. Oh, okay, it's gone. It's loading, setting up again. So we'll be right back when this. Okay, now it's all set up. As you can see, I'm on my home screen. Um, it's sh it's showing all my book. So I think. D uh, dictionaries to item welcome. I I this is for the Kindle store. So. And I did purchase it with the offer, which is cheaper, but they give you ads. But I don't mind. And I would love to. I don't mind seeing some discounts. And I should have some. I should have my stuff. So yeah. So there's a uh, book I purchased recently, Stories of the Prophets. So books about all the prophets in Islam, like Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, uh, Lut, or Lut. See all my cloud books as you in right front of your eye in real time. All my books in the Kindle Cloud is appearing on the device. Now here's a haunted house, and there's a welcome manual, I guess. And I don't know if I could swipe like I can in the iPad or iPhone or Windows. No, I can't. So I have to, yeah, yeah, I can't swipe, but it's not as seamless. But I don't mind. This is for a reading experience mainly. So, um, so I don't mind. So let's try opening a book. Um, I don't know if I, have, I don't know if it downloads automatically, but it's opening. So. As you can see, it's, it looks really nice, and it's very fun to read, and I, I, this font is a little too small, but I can definitely increase it, so uh, I don't know how to do that yet, but uh, we'll figure it out, so, but until then, thanks for watching, this is a first look and first unboxing of the Kindle, it feels very nice on the hand, very light, it's uh, 
has to be less than a pound so a very nice rubbery grip it feels nice in the hands it's has a et Kindle etched in it and I like the light now I actually know how to turn this light off sorry about that let's see let's see if I can find the way to turn the light off but uh, I don't know I know there's a button I don't know if, the, if that's a software toggle or a hardware toggle but mm, don't see it maybe it's the power button who knows let's try pressing the power button uh, let's try pressing the power button to see what happens It says the handle on the hold. I guess I guess it turned it off. So I don't know. I'll I'll figure out how to turn the light off. And well, I might do a new later more than in depth look of the in the, about the software inside. Well, it's pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll I'll see what I think about. I might. Uh, do another video showing my thoughts so thank you guys for watching and have a great day assalamu alaikum